In this tutorial, we'll cover how to integrate the Universal Character Customization System with the Advanced Locomotion System, a very powerful movement solution focused on high-quality animations that you can get for free at the UE4 Marketplace. Integrating this with UCS takes just a few minutes. I have just created a new project starting from the advanced locomotion system and I migrated the universal character system folder from another project as well. First of all, we're going to filter for skeleton. We're going to find the ALS mannequin and duplicate it. Then we're going to open the ALS skeleton and we're going to delete all the blue virtual bones. Click on save. Now we're going to search for the UE4 mannequin in UCS and we're going to delete this and replace the references with the ALS mannequin skeleton. Now we're going to search for the male or female mesh and just open it to make sure that this message appears and click on OK. Now we're going to save all the files. Now we're going to open the ALS character blueprint and we're going to delete some functionality that we don't need which is basically the coloring system compile and save. Now click on add a component and add the UCS component. Make sure to select the preset. Now let's head over to the UCS folder and search for the sample character. From this character make sure to copy the skeletal meshes the Al's mannequin character and attach them to the mesh. Now make sure that the location and rotation values are all zero. Head over to the sample character construction script and copy all the nodes from here to the ALS mannequin. Finally Click on the mesh and change the physics asset to the UCS FAT. Hit on compile and save. Now we're going to filter again for skeleton and open the ALS mannequin and the backup copy that we made at the beginning of this video. This part is not complicated, but please make sure to follow these steps exactly. So we're going to have to recreate the virtual bones from the original skeleton. So click on the left hand, add a virtual bone and select the GAN bone. Make sure to copy the original name. Click on this bone and add another virtual bone targeting the opposite hand. So we're on the left hand here and we're going to select the right hand, the IK right hand. And copy the name.
Now click on the right hand and let's do the same. First, let's select the gun bone, set the name, click on this bone, add virtual bone, and select the opposite hand, the IK hand left, and set the name. Now let's head over to the IK feet and on the IK foot left at the virtual bone that is the left foot. Set the name and add another bone that's actually the left calf. And let's do the same for the right foot. Now let's click on the IK foot root and add another virtual bone targeting the IK foot left, copy the name, and the IK foot right, and copy the name. Finally, click on the root bone and add another virtual bone targeting the root and just name it curves so that's it now let's just um, set some random characters here and hit on play. If you have any questions, please make sure to send me an email at the support address that you can find on the description below. Thank you.